feels weird being in front of the camera. I'm usually the one looking behind it. It's scary being out of control, but also amazing being out of control. Bumble has grown so big now that all of the parking spots get taken very, very quickly. So I leave a little extra early to get there and actually get a parking spot. If I get there a little bit later, then I just park several blocks away and I keep a couple skateboards in my trunk so I can just skateboard in. Lately, I haven't been listening to anything on the way into work. I've just been going complete silence. It lets me get centered. Maybe I'll like meditate a little bit or pray with my eyes open. My role evolved quite a bit from starting at Bumble to where I am now. Initially, I joined Bumble just as an animator. I went to film school and I have video background as well, so I was able to bring a lot of other skill sets. They just let me run with it, let my role evolve. I've gotten to turn it into the thing that I love doing the most, which is everything. <laughs> So I studied screenwriting in film school. When I graduated, I couldn't get a job writing. My best friend said, listen, you know, you can edit, you can write, you can direct, you can do all these things. You can get a job at the agency I work at, but you have to learn animation. So I spent two months studying animation, eventually got hired and then just became an animator, a motion graphics designer. The minute I found out that the Bumble job was open, I stayed up till like 1 a.m. every single night that week working on my cover letter, working on my resume. I made it all yellow. I went and spent $60 on art supplies. I made like a drawing. This was probably too much, my buddy said, but I got yellow construction paper and like a heart stamp and cut out a bunch of yellow hearts like confetti and then sprinkled it in the envelope that I mailed in. My buddy was like, that's too much. And I was like, it's too late. I'm having too much fun making this. It was the best $60 I ever spent. I guess the stuff that stresses me out or keeps me up at night is just how many projects I have at Bumble. Even with freelancers and help, like, I could always be getting more done. I don't wish I had more time. I wish I had a clone. I could get double the work done. And then we could high five. Something I've been trying to do while at work lately is go for walks. Try to go for a walk at lunch and then go for a walk later on at 3 p.m. when I get hungry again. They help you get centered. They help you clear your mind. You really shouldn't be stressing out. Like, it's not helpful. My time management strategy right now is actually to stop doing so much. It is difficult here in Texas because it's 90 to 100 degrees all the time. But I just come back very sweaty, very gross, but completely relaxed. I don't know if I ever literally do nothing. I like to do improv comedy here in Austin. I'm always practicing or performing. And then also my hobbies usually involve some sort of book to read or research to do. I have a problem, I like to do stuff. Oh, improv is exceptionally helpful outside of improv. It teaches you to be all right with failure and look at failure not as failure, but as proof that you took a risk. And if you just say something in a brainstorm, chances are it's gonna inspire someone else and you never would have gotten to the end result if you hadn't have said that one thing that didn't quite work, but it triggered something in someone else and then you reach that idea. I really love the culture at Bumble. They really do walk out their values daily. I remember the first time I met Whitney, I saw it in her. She came up to everyone she didn't know and was saying, hi, I haven't met you yet. How are you? Who are you? Like, I want to get to know you. And complimenting everyone on their work. And it wasn't something that she was doing just to tick a box. I mean, it was something she was genuinely practicing and walking out in her life. Everyone in the office does that. My love language is words of affirmation. I find myself going up to people that I'm editing a video for and rather than just emailing them the project and saying here it is it's done I tell them hey I'm about to send you that video that I've been cutting for you just so I can hear them be like oh thank you. Now we know. <laughs> yeah, now you know. Something I thought I wouldn't like about Bumble was, you'll see when we get to the office, is the open plan. There's people behind me that can see my screen. I thought I wasn't gonna like that because I came from a place where I had my own desk in my own corner, no one could see my screen and I had that privacy. But I find that I'm actually way more productive with everyone being able to like, see what's going on and what I'm working on. I'm like an extroverted introvert and so I tend to get more done on my own. There's something about Bumble, there's something about the people there, I get way more done in that collaborative environment. We are here. Let's see if we got a good parking spot before we're gonna be skateboarding into the office. We found a good spot. Stolen someone's, I just, I may have just scratched the rental car. And this is my desk. This is where the design team sits. I'm near the innovation team, which I need to talk to about digital ads all the time. So I have everyone I need to talk to right into there. This is me, and I'm gonna get to work. 
Thanks for following me in. Have a good day.